We end tonight with two people who've made careers out of saving lives and found themselves Sunday night at the center of a killing field. Here's Carter Evans. It was absolutely the worst feeling. My gut just dropped. Firefighter Ben Cole knew his daughter was in the crowd. There were 22,000 people there. I was looking for one. I was looking for one. He was off duty enjoying the concert. 20-year-old Rachel was working there as an EMT. Her dad ran through the chaos and found her. We embrace, shed a few tears. She said, uh, there's people need help. I said, OK, and we said, let's get to work. I said, you're on my hip, let's go. The father-daughter paramedic team immediately treated everyone they could. People were screaming. There were some headshots over there. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do for that. It's horrible for me. A hundred times worse for them. There was a woman laying on the floor, and there was a man crouched by her. And I asked if they needed medical attention, and he just waved me off. The fact that he could be so selfless and know that, that there are others in need as well. What they endured that night is only now sinking in. When you close your eyes at night and you see all the lights yeah. and all the people, but that's something you, you can't run from. What's it like to see him shaken to the core? I don't see him shaking to the core. I see him, when all, everything was in chaos, pulling together, giving instructions, not breaking down. I'm glad my daughter says it didn't strike the core to my core. It did. It This hit me hard. They're now both seeking help. Our counselor said, if you let this fear change your life, then he's taking another victim. You're not going to let him win? No, not at all. Carter Evans, CBS News, Las Vegas. This was today's headline here, Valor in Vegas. There's been so much of it here these past few days. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching. Good night.